Hello everyone, uh, this is Professor Harper and I'll be your host in this online class on international reporting. I like this class a lot. Uh, I created it about a decade ago and it allows me to share with you and get your observations about international news. I had the opportunity to, to work in the media uh, as head of the operation for Newsweek in Beirut, Lebanon, uh, for uh, ABC News in Cairo, Egypt, and, and later as head of the operation in Rome, Italy for ABC News. But I've had the opportunity to also teach in a variety of countries, uh, China, Russia, Italy, and I've had the opportunity to, to travel to more than 60 countries uh, throughout the world. But this course isn't just about looking at, <clears throat> at you know, quote unquote foreign countries, uh, but how international groups and citizens exist in our local communities. So here in Philadelphia, for example, more than a hundred countries are represented uh, in Philadelphia, and it's, it's really good to, to learn how to cover those, uh, those groups and to see what their experience is uh, in the United States, but also their connections uh, back uh, to, their, to their native countries. Um, and we do that in a, in a variety of ways. Um, so that this is a, an online asynchronous course, which is a fancy way of saying that we don't meet at a specific time every week. I'll post videos, uh, discussion areas, uh, specific assignments for you to do. Uh, and, and it's essentially a mix between an in-person class and an independent study. So we're not going to meet at 10 a.m. to 11.30 uh, AM on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can work at your own pace. And that has a lot of advantages, but it also has the need for you to keep up with the work. If you don't set your own schedule, uh, you can fall behind and it's quite, dif quite difficult to catch up once you fall behind. Um, I'll be available uh, whenever you need to talk via um, uh, email if you have any questions uh, or if if we need to uh, to meet uh, online we can do that through zoom or via the telephone so let's get started so let's take a look at the syllabus uh, international journalism um, office hours online by appointment uh, you can contact me through canvas or via c harper at temple.edu um, the course outline and let me just you know, go through this quickly, but this course will focus on the process of reporting on governments, politics, and cultures that may function quite differently from the, the United States norm. A different mindset often is necessary in covering domestic news. The reporter, the protagonist, the sources, and the audience share certain cultural assumptions. Uh, a collective experience and a, and a similar approach to reality. That's not always true, but for the main part it is. This is often not true when it comes to news from outside of the United States. The essence of international reporting is to make it understandable for readers and viewers events and perspectives that may be beyond their experience. The difficult part is to define events in terms that the United States audiences can understand without quote creating distortions that stem from cultural differences. The course will involve three elements. First, the class will evaluate international reporting and foreign affairs, including several written analyses. Second, each of you will choose a country about which uh, you know uh, very little. Um, and finally, there will be one story to be done in print or broadcast, which will focus on an international group or um, a country here in Philadelphia. And since the news about countries is, is moving so quickly, the syllabus may change during the semester. Moreover, assigned readings may change. So um, there are various case studies uh, that are generally available as a free download. I recommend that you purchase Grammarly.com, which will cost you about $60 for the, uh, uh, the course, you know, if you, you know, work it right. Um, because I'm not going to go through and correct your grammar, punctuation, and style. And what Grammarly does is that it makes suggestions on how you can uh, get things right. Um, and, you know, the downside of it is that I'll take off 10% of your grade uh, per assignment if you have three uh, or more uh, errors of uh, grammar, punctuation, and style and usage. Okay. Um, the final story will be at least a thousand words with one photograph of people um, 
on an international issue, person, or group in Philadelphia. The broadcast stories will be at least 1 minute 30. Um, and you do have an opportunity, if, your work, if you think your work is good, to submit it for philadelphianeighborhoods.com. You'll see the requirements uh, down uh, in philadelphianeighborhoods.com forward slash submission um, uh, guidelines. So the various assignments, there'll be a country report. And here you should choose something that you don't know very much about. Um, and not a well-known country like France or Germany or Italy, but something um, something that may be not in the news all the time here in the United States. And then that country will be the focus uh, of your final story. So let's say, for example, that you choose Vietnam. There's a Vietnamese community here in, um, and a rather vibrant one here in Philadelphia. So you'll look at the background and do a report on Vietnam, and then you'll try to figure out how to uh, do a story about uh, a Vietnamese person or group or a community here in Philadelphia. Uh, there'll be discussion questions. Uh, they will account for about 20% 20, 20 of the grade. As I said, there will be four analyses. Each will um, will count toward 10% or 40% of your grade. And the final article, I, I find that, that oftentimes people wait to the last minute to report their story. And so um, I have a system here where your overall final article is wor worth 25 points, but it starts with your story idea, and then there are two memos, um, and then your final story is, is kind of half of that, uh, that 25 points. So the idea here is to um, get the idea, and you'll have to submit that to me. I'll approve it. And then there'll be times where you do some reporting, you do some research, you file that, and then writing your final story isn't kind of slapping it together right at the end of uh, um, the term. So there's a there's a week by week here, um, which I won't you know go through. You can you can read it. I will post um, via the announcements what's coming up. So if you go to the left side of of Canvas announcements is I'll try to, you know, just before the upcoming week to, to go through and say, you know, here's what we need to do. Um, if there are any changes, I'll put it there. The assignments are here, okay. The discussion board, uh, there'll be two questions each week um, and you can earn some extra credit if you post a third time. Grades are pretty standard. Um, I will post the um, the PowerPoints that I use under files. Okay, this goes to the library at uh, at Temple itself, um, <clears throat> and I will post a uh, all of the lectures on YouTube, and I will provide you with that um, that locale uh, so that you can uh, so that you can listen to the lectures. So uh, that's it for my opening remarks. So we'll see you online. Thanks very much.